Hey everybody, happy Friday. Hopefully I'm in the right place. Let's see. <laughs> it's been two weeks since Facebook Friday. Okay, good, it looks like I'm in the right place. It's been two weeks since our last Facebook Friday, so I am a little rusty probably, and my kids are home, so you know how that goes. Um, let's see, make sure I'm sharing this in the right place. Um, so we'll see how today goes. <laughs> All right, I see you guys jumping on. Hello, let me make sure my volume is down. I have been watching, re-watching all four seasons of Stranger Things, so on my iPad. <laughs> oh, that is a good show. Hello, it's good to see you guys. Hi, Kimberly. All right, so this week is Heron Habitat, and this set is really cool. Um, it is a distinctive stamp. That's a term that um, Stampin' Up! created for this technology they use on these stamps. Um, the stamp is completely flat, but when you stamp it, it gives you all this texture and dimension. It's really cool. It actually looks like it's been colored, I think, because in some areas it's darker, in some areas it's lighter. So this is a really, really awesome stamp set. Um, it has matching dies, of course, and the dies have two, two or three, two little label dies that we'll be using that have a little heart cut out in them. They're very cute. So I was happy um, to use this set. I was excited. It was on my top 10 list, probably. Um, it's a really good one. All right. Well, it's good to see you guys. I'm glad you're here. I have some things to tell you. Let's see. Where do I want to start? I'll start right here. Um, since we last met, it we have um, put out a new uh, all-star tutorial bundle. This bundle is the heart, or this tutorial features the heart and home suite of products in the spring catalog, the January to June mini catalog. Now that, and I'm gonna talk to you about that in a second, that catalog is retiring, so there's a last chance list out. The stamp set that I use on my project, which is this one right here, the one with the little honeybee, um, is carrying over into new catalog, but the other products, the paper, the memories and more cards, um, I can't think of what else, uh, those are not carrying over, so they're on the last chance list, but all these projects in here feature that suite of products. 12 tutorials by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Here's mine again, and uh, we did a blog hop two days ago if you want to read about it and hop along for even more ideas. We all put out a second project. So that's like 24 projects um, featuring that one suite. So it's a lot. This PDF is free to anybody who spends $50 with me or more online in the month of June. Now you can also get it for free if you're on my team. My team always gets my PDFs for free. There is a third option. Well, actually there's a fourth option. The third option is if you want to just buy the PDF, maybe you have a demonstrator or you um, are a demonstrator and you don't want to order from me, you can actually buy just the PDF for $15. It's an immediate download in my PDF store. So the tutorials were all videos and like the each page has or each project has the dimensions in metric and imperial and then there's a link to the video so you'll have 12 videos um most of them are cards um and i don't remember off the top of my head how many are not cards and mine is not a card i always try to do a 3d project for my 3d fans out there um now the fourth option is coming up in July. That's the subscription window. I offer a subscription to just the PDF. Um, and when you subscribe, you get the sixth month for free. So you each month is $15 if you buy them outright. But when you subscribe, you pay $15 for each of the first five months and then the sixth month is free. So we only open that twice a year and that's in July and what would that be, January? So next month, towards the end of this month, I'll open that up if you want to subscribe and get that for free. Um, I have a lot of people take advantage of that. It's a great way to get lots of ideas for your products that you buy. Um, the next, um, I'm trying to think, the next round of, um, I'm try I can't even remember off the top of my head. Obviously they're gonna feature mostly products from the new annual catalog, but I can't remember what we decided if we were gonna pull in some from the um, holiday catalog. But 
when I open it up, all those details will be there for you, okay? And then I email those out to subscribers every month on the first. If you're a subscriber and you don't get it and you didn't get it, just email me because some of them do bounce. Some of them go to spam. So anyhow, I send them out about once a week for free to everyone who puts in an online order over $50. Okay, so that's that. Hello, everyone who's joining us. Glad you're here. Um, I think I'm going to turn you guys around because there's a lot of things I want to show you today. Um, that will be better shown if I flip you around. Hey, Judy. So good to see you. It's been two weeks, you guys. I had a wonderful trip to Utah with my friends. It took me about four days <laughs> to get back in the swing of things. Um, I had to take a nap like four days in a row. We had too much fun, um, but it was much needed. You know, sometimes you just need time with friends where you can laugh and, you know, it was great. It was really good. All right, so let me show you, let's talk about the last chance list. And I'm gonna bring my iPad over so that you guys can see. So this catalog right here, the mini catalog, January to June, is retiring. And I have shared the PDF with you, and I will share it again today here in the description of this video. Um, so you can print it out. It's kind of small, but I think it, I think you can make it work. Um, it goes page by page, and it just shows you what's retired. Um, some of the things like the Daffodil Daydream Bundle are sold as a bundle in this catalog where you save 10%, but then they carry over into the annual catalog not as a bundle price. So you don't get to save that 10%. So if there were any bundles that you had in mind um, in here, make sure that you get them uh, before the end of the retirement time so that you can save that 10%. Now, some of these things are already sold out. Gumball Greetings is sold out. Um, and if I remember correctly, I wrote it all down, but I just wrote the bundles. If I remember correctly, it's the stamps that are selling out first and not necessarily the dies. So the dies may still be available. This one right here is on low inventory, the love and happiness. And this is that great one that has the, um, the hybrid embossing folder with the dies that fit inside. I use those hearts and that label a ton. Um, here's a picture of it. So if you like that, make sure you get it because that is retiring. Um, the Crane of Fortune is gone, the stamp set. Um, Garden Greenhouse, I think I saw that one over here. Garden Greenhouse is gone. Um, let me, instead of, let me, instead of me telling you this one, instead of me telling you what's gone, let me tell you what's um, in low inventory because these are the things you need to get before they're gone. So artfully layered. You'd think I'd have these marked, but I'm not that good. <laughs> Artfully layered. That's the one with the um, palm leaves, right? Oh, come on. Where is it? Right here. Artfully layered. Um, this bundle is on low inventory. Um, and that's some great paper, too. This is carrying over. This is carrying over. This is carrying over into the annual catalog. But these two things are not. The Dahlia Days. Um, I don't have that one. That's one that I did not get. Let's see, I can look back here on page 35. I closed my iPad, so now it feels like I'm here alone. <laughs> uh, I can't see your comments. Oh, it's on the very next page. So Dahlia Days is really popular. I just never got it, never, maybe I did. I can't remember, I think I gave it away as a prize. Um, and then Sentiment Swirls, and I don't remember which one that is. Let me see, because I don't think I have that one either. Page 56. Oh yes, this one is on low inventory. So those are on low inventory, which means they could sell out at any time. So if you want them, make sure you get them. I'm gonna show you real quick on my iPad how you can easily find what's available in the store. Nope, that's not the right page. Let's do that again, Stamina Up Customer. Um, so, okay. All right, allow cookies. Um, so if you go up here to these three little lines right here and you do specials, the last chance products are right there and you can click that and it'll show you all the things that are leaving. A lot of them are on sale too. So like um, some of these down here are 50% off, 30% off, which is a great deal. Those masks that I loved so much, those layering masks, those are on sale for $7. 
Um, the greenhouse dies are still available, $17. So make sure you spend some time looking through here. You guys know how this goes. Um, last chance list means that it is while supplies last, all of it. But I, again, I wanted to point out a bundle, like the Happy Hedgehog bundle is in the annual catalog. It's just not sold as a bundle price, which means you don't save the 10%. So if you liked it, get it while it's, you know, you can save that 10%. Um, okay, the while I have my iPad here, let me show you the other thing I wanted to show you. So our kits right now are BOGO, buy one, get one. And if you come over here and you click those three lines, shop products, and then right here, kits collection. Let's see, shop all. It'll show you in here the kits and they're buy one, get one free. No, sorry, buy one, get one half off. Ooh, that was a slip up. We wish they were buy one, get one free, but hey, we'll take 50% off. Um, so the kits are fit, uh, buy one, get one, and you have to order, you have to put them in your cart, if I understand correctly, one at a time, and then it's going to take the 50% off the second one. All right, let's do, let's try it. We're going to add, I'm going to show you, this is one of our new kits. Love this memory notebook kit. And then we'll add this one, a million thanks kit. Let's add that. Oh, it's currently unavailable. That's the other thing with our kits, you guys. They are while well, supplies last too. So um, usually they remove it from the site when it's not available, but maybe they have just, um, well, that's interesting. Look at that. So the love this memory is 25 and the, well, I added the French one. That one is 23, but it took the half off. Can you see that? It took the half off of the more expensive one. Oh, so anyways, play around with it and see what you can get. Um, I assumed it would take 50% off the lowest price, but hey, I'm not going to question it if it's taken off the, the more expensive one. But anyway, um, so two kits right there for $35. That's pretty, pretty good. If you like kits, especially in the summer, I think the summer is a great time for kits while you're traveling, while your kids or your grandkids are home. Um, it's a great time to play with some of our kits. Let me open you guys back up so I can find you in your comments. It feels like I'm talking to myself in here. Um, it takes half off the second one ordered. Trisha, that's crazy. So it's not necessarily the highest one or the lowest price. And Robin says, yep, they said they would take it off the more expensive. Wow. Okay. So you learned a little trick there. Add the more expensive one second. They're going to take 50% off the second one you add to your cart. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, so that's all this month. And that does, those can be used as your, you know, if you want to earn the make and takes for free, you can order kits. I don't care what you guys order, um, just as long as you use that host code. This is that new kit I was telling you about. Um, love this memory notebook kit. And it's it's a memory keeping kit. I I. I mean, it's not geared towards kids, but I think like my teenagers would like this to make a little memory, like a little memory, like a travel journal or something. Um, it's really cute. And look, the stamps are super cute. I don't know if you guys can see those. A little smiley face. I love an arrow stamp. It's a good day. Life is cool. The best. Just enjoy. That's a very, this is a very cute kit. Comes with a block. You've got some adhesive here and some washi tape, some pockets. Look at all these bright, oh, these are so cute. These are really, really cute. Ooh, some iridescent stickers. So don't forget about our kits. They're not in the catalog. If you like shop from your catalog, don't forget to look online because there are some online exclusive things like our kits. Look at that, oh my gosh, those bright, fun colors. Okay, so, ooh, whoa, look at that. I just pulled this out earlier and I didn't really look at it. All those letter stickers. Oh my gosh, it takes me back to my scrapbooking days. Um, so this is called the Love This Memory Notebook Kit, okay? And it's there in the kits. All right, now, let me just show you a little something right there. Believe it or not, you guys, I mean, believe it or not, the holiday mini catalog is coming out in July, July 1st. Along with it is our summer celebration. Um, I can't show you the inside, but I can tell you that there are some ridiculously adorable things in here. This may be one, of, and I think I said this last time, but this may be one of my favorite holiday catalogs we have ever had. It is 
so cute. There are some super cute things in here. The celebration starts the same time. Celebration is July and August. Celebration is when you get something for free when you spend $50 or $100. Um, we'll talk more about that once we get closer, but I want you guys to be watching your mailbox. If you ordered from me any time in the last nine months, I sent you a catalog. You didn't have to opt in for the little one. I just send them to you guys. They're not quite as expensive as the big ones, so I just automatically send them. So be on the lookout. And if you get a catalog from me and you already have one, please pass it along to a friend. You don't need to, you know, send it to me, back to me or whatever. I would love for you to just pass it along to a friend. Um, they, I think they should come together. I don't know for sure, um, but they may come separate. I don't know. It seems like last time they came separately. And anyhow, be on the lookout. I, I've already actually started designing with some of this stuff and it is, it's, there's, there's, all I got to say is vintage camper. Super cute. Just wait till you see it. Okay. So that's a little sneak peek coming. I'm very excited. Um, so Club Create. Club Create. We are in the next rotation of Club Create. Um, I have not opened up subscriptions yet. Um, I'm just trying to watch my numbers. We are taking several trips this summer and I don't want to over, over, you know, extend myself where I can't get everything done. Um, I, if I do decide to open it up, I will let you guys know. Um, the July kit will feature the cheerful basket bundle. I adore this bundle. It is so stinking cute. And, and in July's kit, we'll have four cards plus this thing that is either a card holder or an embellishment holder for your desk, whichever one you want it to be. Um, if you want the video and the PDF, they are now available in my PDF store. The video link is listed on the very first page of the PDF. Um, it, this is this is a really cute bundle and I use kind of rich fall colors. Um, there's some fall leaves um, in the stamp set and some, some, I don't know, it's just really cute. It kind of got me excited for fall. But anyway, that's coming in July. The subscription period for this will, will close on July 7th. But like I said right now, it's not open. I'm just trying to make sure that I have um, enough you know, like I don't overextend myself. Um, let's see. What did, um, Trisha, you were just typing PDF question. Yep, PDF is available. Rosa said the catalogs came together. Okay, good. They were like wrapped together. Um, Diana, there's a die. I can't find the catalog, but something. Okay, I'll have to look into that for you. All right, good. Okay, I think we got all the questions. Hopefully, um, let's take a look at what we're doing today. So Facebook Friday is when I choose a product and I make three products with it. No, I pick a product and make three projects with it. Those words are very similar. <laughs> oh, it looks like my camera is crooked. Let's see if I can make it straight. Um, that side needs to come down just a bit. Let's see. Um, so this week we're doing hair and habitat. If you like the projects that we're doing today, um, I will send them to you for free. Um, if you put in an online order between now and Monday at midnight and it, did I turn it the wrong way? It looks like I turned it the wrong way. Okay, let's try it again. So Facebook live has like a 10 second delay. So you guys have to be patient with me. Um, <laughs> and anyway, if you want the make and takes, they come, they look like this. I send you pretty much everything that you need except for the stamps and the dies. So you'll need this bundle or use whatever you already have. Um, but I will send you paper and embellishments, um, any other die cuts like circles and things like that. And they come like this. I don't do any stamping. You will need the stamps for sure. I'm also using the waterfront stamp set today because that's a really good companion to this set. Okay, also over at pinkbuckaroo.com, did the did you guys check? Is the PDF up? Um, there is a free PDF there for you. It has all the supplies and the measurements um, that are for each card. And then it has the host code if you want to put in your order. Oh, I didn't change. No, you know what? I did change the host code on the PDF. I printed it before I changed the host code. This is the right host code right here. If that one's still there, it's not going to work. It'll be that one. I'll put it in the um, description of the video just in case. 
Um, what was I going to say? Make sure your orders are in by Monday at midnight. And I will cut them all on Tuesday and ship them on Wednesday. Okay? All right, how about a prize? The prize from last time. Oh, Joanne says the PDF is there. Great. Thank you, Joanne. Um, last two weeks ago, I picked Andrea DeHart for, at random. She's one of the people that shared the video. Andrea, thank you so much. I'm going to send you this awesome Charming Sentiments bundle um, as a thank you. Uh, this week, I've got two stamp sets, Graceful Tiles which is a really neat stamp set. I haven't used it yet, but it is really, really cool. Um, so if you'd like to win one of these, make sure you share the video and comment that you shared. Okay? Okay. I think, oh, thank you, Tina. I think we are ready to go. Let me, uh, hold on just a second. It is so hot in here. I'm gonna pull my hair up and then we're gonna stamp all right, how many of you have this stamp set? How many of you have already bought it? Somebody, I can't remember, was it Pam yesterday said, I need this stamp set. And I am telling you, yes, you need this stamp set. It is super, super cute. Um, it's, it's cute and pretty at the same time, if that makes sense. I, I just, I don't know, I'm really impressed with the design, whoever the illustrator was of the stamp set I approve it is beautiful okay let me turn my fan down so it won't shake the camera oh, Jane says I know my pond and love bird loving people will love this one yes it is a good one for sure all right we're going to start um with our stamping let's see I'm going to show you and you know what I need my oh yeah right here I need my chamois. We're going to use the chamois a lot today. Um, I use a lot of different colors today, too. I try usually to stick with colors that are similar, but today I was just kind of all over the place. I'm going to show you some new papers, too. Okay, so we're going to start with the bird, the heron, and we're going to stamp him. This goes on the inside. This is where we're gonna die cut. So we're gonna stamp that right there. And I want you guys to look at all the detail right there. I mean, I don't know how it stamps light and dark colors at the same time, but it does, and it is really cool. All I'm, the only color I'm gonna add is a little bit of petal pink light to his beak, okay? And then I'm gonna get the cattails stamp. And you know what, let me grab a paper towel. Um, you can use markers when you want to color your stamp different colors, but sometimes I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp most of it here on Old Olive like that. And then I'm going to take my blending pen, my blender pen, and just remove that color from that part of the image that I don't want to be green. And I'm going to add some soft suede with my Stampin' Right marker, okay? So I've got that one. We're gonna cut those out. Let's stamp the sentiment also. See if we can get it all to fit in here like that. Old Olive. Now, we've got this piece that we're gonna put the bird on. And we're gonna do, there's this little squiggly image. <laughs> you like that description? Squiggly image that is like water and grass. So we're just gonna kind of do it like that. And we're gonna take the birds. Hey, whoops, nope, we don't want old olive birds. We want, um, mist, um, hello, balmy blue. I almost called it marina mist. How long has marina mist been gone? A really long time. Marina mist. Um, again, I'm gonna do the cattails. Remove that color. A blender pen is like a marker with some solvent in it, and you use it really, its intended purpose is to color in an image. Now I'm gonna stamp these a couple of times, one right here. So you know how we use Stampin' Blends, how I use Stampin' Blends to color images in? Well, the blender pen is a way to use your inks to color images in. And I'll show you just a second how you do that. If you've never used it, it's kind of gone by the wayside, I feel like. We don't use it very much anymore. 
now that we have Stampin' Blends. Or maybe it's just me that doesn't use it much anymore. But what you would do is just like you would use your aqua painter, you would, you know, color things in like that, color your image in. And then you just run it until it, the color comes out. It's really kind of magical, actually. Okay, so there's that. Now we have a piece of balmy blue, and I'm gonna take those cattails, and I'm gonna clean them, and I am gonna stamp them in balmy blue, kind of like, kind of like a silhouette like that and stamp it again so that they're lighter like that and then we'll do well that's probably all we need to do we'll do one like that okay and then we'll do the same thing with the birds up here I'm kind of I don't want them to look all exactly the same there we go all right so now ah just stuck my finger in the ink let me close all my ink pads bring over my cut and emboss machine um, <laughs> we need to have a little discussion. Oh, something else I forgot to do. Let's do that real quick. We need to have a little discussion about the magnetic platform. While I was away, Stampin' Up! announced that they are pulling the magnetic platform. And I can tell you my heart is broken about the magnetic platform because you know that I have been singing its praises. They have found that, I'm gonna stamp this one right here. This is gonna go on the inside of our card. They have found that in the mass production of the product, the quality did not stay the same as it had when they did, I guess, quality control with their prototypes. And the thing has started, coming apart and if you've been around a while you know we've had drama with our magnetic plate or magnetic platform now mine was fine and then when I got home I noticed it was starting to come up some of you may have one that has come up coming apart so what is what stamping up going to do about it well they are refunding everybody everybody who bought one will get a refund automatically to your card that you paid for it with you don't need to send it back. You don't need to do anything. And they're just like, throw it away. Okay. Now I'm not throwing mine away because I love it. Um, and I taped it together and we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> um, yeah, Patricia broke your heart too. I, yeah, we were waiting for it to come with a mini. I don't know what the future of the magnetic plate is. I don't know. They haven't told us if they're going to work on it some more or if they're just like, forget it. Um, because this has been an, an ongoing issue for years. Um, I don't know what to say about it. I'm upset about it because I do love it. And I think it's a great product. Um, in my mind, what happened is somebody in the manufacturing used some shoddy glue to, you know, to put it together. <laughs> Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what it feels like to me. So I'm hoping that it will get resolved. But for now, if you bought it and your starts coming together, just go check your credit card because they're going to start refunding everybody. So sad. I'm sad because I did really encourage you guys to get it because I really did think it was a wonderful product. But luckily, Stampin' Up! is taking care of us. And they are refunding us if we purchased it. So that is that. That is something that I was very upset about. But what are you going to do, right? I mean, it is what it is. Okay, if you have questions about that, let me know. I mean, I don't really know if I have any answers for you. But, I, I you know, I respect stamping up. They're losing quite a bit of money by doing that. Um, refunding everybody. But I know that they are very upset about it, too, because we were all so excited about it. So and um, they did say that the magnetic plate for the mini, like they've halted that. So don't don't be waiting for it. I, we thought it was coming soon, but I don't know. I don't know what happened, what's happening, but they're not going to move forward with that one. Yeah. So some of yours are are together still 
great. And I will tell you that when people started reporting that issue, I was like, y'all are crazy. Mine is totally fine. Y'all must be doing something. I'm putting all these on with dimensionals, by the way. And I was like, y'all must be doing something crazy with your plate. But then, <laughs> lo and behold, it started to curl up, coming apart. So sadly, I it just seems like the adhesive, whatever the manufacturer used, the adhesive um, for all those layers just wasn't, wasn't good enough, unfortunately. So that's that. I will continue to use mine for as long as I can because I do love it. Having one big sheet magnet like that has been awesome. Um, hopefully they will go back to the drawing board and see if they can perfect it because I think it has a lot of promise. All right, so I put all those things on with dimensionals. I'm gonna mat this right here on a piece of soft suede that's just an eighth of an inch bigger. And then I'm gonna use linen thread um, and wrap that around like that a couple times. I'm actually using linen thread on all three projects today. Linen thread lives permanently on my desk top. I use it all the time. All right, so wrap that around like that. Let's let's make that even like that. Isn't he cute? And I don't know, maybe cute's not the right word. Isn't he pretty? He's a pretty bird. All right, so I've got a Knight of Navy card base, and we're going to adhere this balmy blue piece right here. Now I have these three little strips of old olive that's gonna kind of anchor everything together. And I'm gonna adhere them kind of in the middle, about half an inch apart. I'm not too worried about them being perfect because they're gonna mostly be covered up. You can use your grid paper if you're concerned about that. All right, and then some more dimensionals. And we will put that right there. All right, last but not least, we're gonna put that white piece that we stamped that cattail. And right there, Trisha, I wish linen thread still sold separately. What? It does still so sell sold separately. I just ordered a bunch of it. Right? <laughs> now you're making me question. Hold on. Hold on just a minute. No, it doesn't. What did I order? Yes, I did. Yes, it does. Oh my God, you scared me half to death right there. Because I ordered this for Club Create. And I was like, oh God, what did I order? Linen thread right there. Maybe you're thinking about this whole set of, because that does look like linen thread in there. What does it say? Crumb cake and white, 10 yards, black, gray granite, and very vanilla, five yards. That looks just like linen thread, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, the day that I can't get linen thread, we're gonna is gonna be a it's gonna be a bad day. It's gonna be a very bad day. <laughs> okay, ta-da, we're done. <laughs> I've actually made this card four times. Whoops, I actually have made this card four times. Look, that's how much I love this card. We made it for something for my team. I made it in a video that's now on YouTube. We did it today, and then there was my original. And you know, change up the colors if you feel like. If you don't like that color combo, change it up. I thought, I was trying to go with like, you know, like a coastal. Hey, speaking of coastal, you guys, do you watch the Today Show? There's like this new trend called Coastal Grandma. Have you guys seen this Coastal Grandma trend? It's very strange. It's basically like Nantucket type look. And they're acting like it's something new. I'm not sure why. But everybody's like, oh, we're going to decorate our house. And like grandma, what are they calling it? Not, um, coastal grandma. I'm like, that's called nautical or Nantucket. I don't know. I've always liked that. 
don't know. Sometimes they just reinvent the wheel, don't they? Okay, next card. Now, you'll notice here, we're doing a totally different color scheme, okay? We are using this new designer series paper called Lovely and Linen. And it is so cute. It reminds me of the Sweet Symmetry paper we had in the last catalog. Um, it's not the same, but it kind of just reminds me of that. Different colors, um, but, but similar in like patterns and stuff. So that's what we're using and I love it. Okay, we're gonna start with a watercolor circle. Watercolor paper circle that I cut out with the stylish shape dies. I gotta get a paper towel again. And we're gonna use our water painter. We're actually gonna watercolor twice now and then the next card. And I'm going to squeeze my ink pad so that I get some ink right there in the lid. If you don't like to do that, take one of your blocks and dab it on there to, to uh, create a palette. We're gonna do that with the next project. Now I'm just gonna take soft succulent, which is not really a color you would think to do this with, but that's what I'm going with. Just kind of a water horizon line. All right. <laughs> Christy says, I love linen thread, but I absolutely hate the spools. I can never find the end and end up with a tangled mess. I can't tell you how many times I've done that, Christy. Yes. Um, now I make sure that that I just, you know, pick at it until I can find it. Because <laughs> you're right. Once you pull out that end, you're done. It's a mess. <laughs> I know. I know. It used to come on a card. Remember? It was like a card like this and it was wrapped around. Yeah. But that, people would complain because then it would be bent where it wrapped around. I don't know can never win. <laughs> they can never make us fully happy, can they? Um, okay, so that is, while it's drying, I'm going to take um, Evening Evergreen and splatter just a little bit of that to add a little bit more, I don't know, texture, okay? All right, so now we're going to stamp. I try to use all three birds in my projects today. This is the Flying Heron. Harry the Heron, I think I told you guys that. My, maybe not, maybe I was in something else I did with my team. When we were at the coast, my daughter, when she was little, there was a, a heron that would stay right there where we were staying, and she named him Harry the Heron. So now, every time we see one, even though they're not little anymore, every time we see one, we say, look, there's Harry the Heron. All right, so I stamped him in Smoky Slate. I stamped the sentiment in Sweet Sorbet because that is the color of our papers, um, our designer series paper. And we're gonna cut this out with the matching dies. No fussy cutting this week. We've got dies to match. And you really gotta make sure with these, like look at the, the wings, the feet, the beak, to get it all lined up. There's a lot of points there. Here's one of the other little labels. Let's see if I can move that. Now we're gonna cut out some of these grasses too. I've got Evening Evergreen for the big grass. And then Soft Succulent for the smaller. We've got four small grasses, but we're just gonna do two of them. And we're gonna run that through carefully. And pull that apart. Like so, I, I really like this grass dye. I think this could be used for lots of things, not just necessarily with these birds, but I don't know. It's a really good grass dye shape. All right, pull those out. And now we can start assembling. This is a really simple card today. The video, I think that I, I have clean recordings of each of these. If you ever wanna come back and just watch one certain project, they're on YouTube. And I think this video was like six minutes. It was really, really short. Okay, soft succulent card base. And I have a strip of evening evergreen that is just half an inch. And I'm gonna put that over, a, I don't know, about an inch from the edge. Oops, I slid it down. Okay, come on. 
like that. Snip it off, it's a little bit too long. And then we'll grab dimensionals. Nope, we don't need the minis, we need the big ones for this. And I'm gonna use this bigger piece here first. Like that. And then the smaller piece we'll put right here, like that. All right, so there's that. Now let's get our circle and guess what? More dimensionals, of course. Oh, that's a great idea. Pam says, she's talking about the linen thread, get it started, then put in a small Ziploc bag with the end sticking out, just pull, don't take out of the bag, no more tangles. That's an excellent idea. That is a great suggestion. Thank you, Pam. All right, now, where is my glue? It's hiding. I'm gonna glue this grass right here, kind of to the left. And we'll put the bird up here with a dimensional. Like that. And then we'll get these other two little grasses and we'll glue them on right here and right here it's very quiet in my house it's very strange uh oh i just dropped it my girls one's at work but the other two oh and i got to tell you guys about ellie's trip i told you guys she was in minnesota doing the boundary waters on a adventure, I don't know what you call it, a leadership, three-week leadership in the wilderness course. And the very last night that they were there, we hadn't had contact with them in almost a week. There were tornadoes up there in Minnesota. And, you know, I started freaking out because I could see where she was, um, where she was supposed to be. And then I could see the radar and I was worried well, she ended up being fine. We heard from her the next day, but she said it was super scary. They had to tie their canoes together so that no one would flip over. <laughs> she said it was as scared as she's ever been, but that the trip totally has changed her and it was amazing. So she's a braver girl than I. All right, so I put that linen thread bow there. I put the dimensional on top and then we're just gonna put this right there. So the bow is under that, like that. She loved it. She had to come back to the hottest May. Well, it was June when she got here, but the hottest temperatures in, you know, like history for San Antonio. I'm like, enjoy that cold weather while you can because it's very cold. I mean, it's very hot here. But all you Minnesotans, is that how you say it? Minnesotans? Minnesotians who were helping me not worry. She was great. I'm glad I didn't know they had to tie their canoes together while they were doing it, because that's scary. <laughs> okay, simple card. That one's a real fast one. I, I just love that these birds look like you've taken time to color them, and you really haven't. I mean, look, it's like light, medium, and dark in just one stamp. It, it just blows my mind how they, how they have created these stamps to do that. Very cool. Okay, one more card. One more card. Um, oh, Carla, I'm so glad you asked. Let me pull that out. Um, so you guys, the last time we did Facebook Live, I was donating all of the proceeds, all of my profit from that week end, um, from all your orders, as well as PDF sales to Family Services of South Texas, who's helping out in Uvalde. And we ended up, all of us together, donating $1,374. So thank you all very, very much. I was, I was just really excited about that because it felt like I was doing something, you know? Like it felt like, okay, I've, I've done something to help. And uh, we all did. And I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much. And Carla, thank you for asking. Um, there, you know... I don't know, I don't know how they're ever going to 
really move on and recover down there. Um, you know, it's, whew, it's hard, very hard. All right, we've got one more card, and then I've got I've got two cards to show you, bonus cards. So this is my original card that I made, and I could have swore that my ink was Starry Sky because that's the cardstock. But then look how different these look. This is the one I did yesterday with Starry Sky, and it's so maybe I used um oh what's our new color our new purple. Oh my gosh, I've been gone too long. I can't even remember. You know, our new purple, Starry Sky and whatever it is. Um, <laughs> anyways, either one will work for what we're doing, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to use a little seagull. A little seagull is so cute, although I hate seagulls. They're so aggressive when you're at the beach. They want to eat your snacks. <laughs> okay, we're going to use watercolor paper orchid oasis thank you i kept thinking fresh freesia that wasn't that i knew that wasn't it lovely lilac i knew that wasn't it couldn't think of it orchid oasis one of our new colors okay so we're going to watercolor we're going to do an ombre background and we are going to use starry sky and this time because i really need a lot of ink i'm putting it on my block and i'm going to get my water painter and First, I'm gonna just really kind of prime my paper. This is a full sheet of watercolor paper just so that I don't have to worry about taping the taped edges. Um, I've taped it down so that it won't curl. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water here and I'm gonna start at the top and go down. Okay, didn't get enough water there. And I'm gonna move from the top to the bottom every time. And each time we're adding color, the top is gonna to get darker. It's all gonna get darker, but the top's gonna to have the most color because as we move down, we're kind of losing that color that we deposited at the top. I wanted this to kind of maybe look like, an, not a night sky, but kind of maybe a setting sky or twilight at the beach. <laughs> I don't know. This color is just so beautiful. All right, so each time I'm starting, I'm using lots of water so that it'll all move and blend together. You can do as much or as little as you like. Okay, and I think I'm gonna stop here and maybe a little bit more. And then we're gonna set it aside to dry. Thank you, Trisha, I appreciate it. Okay, so now set that aside for a while. We're gonna do something else to it before we use it, but I'm gonna set it aside for now. Let it dry a little bit. And while we're doing that, we are going to do our stamping. I have a watercolor paper, again, stitched shape. This time it is um, the square. Same set of dies that I used earlier with a circle. And we need our chamois. This, the next few stamps that I'm using are from Ocean Front. This is a great stamp set. It was in the, um, wasn't it in the January to June catalog? And now it's in the annual catalog. Um, I'm gonna use the same stamp for both like the water and the sand. So I'm gonna stamp it in um, Starry Sky. I'm gonna stamp off and then stamp right here like that, so it's kind of light, and that kind of looks like water. And then I'll use crumb cake for the sand, but taking it and turning it this way. So it's kind of like a puzzle piece. I'm gonna stamp off again, and stamp it right there, okay? Kind of abstract, and the reason I use the watercolor paper is just kind of to play along with the watercolor paper that we used over there. You could use, you don't have to use watercolor paper. All right, oh, no, we still need this. We're gonna use the little texture stamp also from Oceanfront to add some of these little sand crumb things, <laughs> little dots. And then we're gonna use Early Espresso and the grass, which this grass is from Oceanfront. 
and I'm gonna stamp it once here and then stamp over again and maybe like that. And then I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stamp off right here and then do one like that. Okay, so that they're different, you know, darkness, dark and light. They're not all exactly the same. Okay, so there's that piece. And then we're gonna stamp our bird. This time I'm gonna stamp him in basic gray. I wanted him to be a little bit darker. A little seagull. There, right there. And then we will stamp our sentiment, which says happy birthday. And you know, these cards, all of them, you, know, you could just switch out the sentiments, whatever you want them to say. They're all pretty generic set, you know, it could be birthday, it could be thank you, it could be whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna cut out some of these grasses. I bring this over. Um, the sentiment, I'm using a seasonal label. This is one of the dies from the annual catalog. Perfect fit. And then we'll use our little bird right here. Now I have um, crumb cake and craft, okay? So that we kind of have some variation. And I'm gonna use the big grass on the crumb cake and we'll do the little grasses on the craft. Our craft paper comes in six by six and you get like 20 sheets in the pack. I've been using a lot of craft lately. All right, so get those off and then we'll get these off and we need to cut one more of the bigger grasses from crumb cake. Can you guys see the difference between crumb cake? Yeah, you can see, right? This one's a little more card bo cardboard box color <laughs> and this one's more like tan. That's how I explain craft. It's basically a cardboard box, paper. Okay, so now we've got all of our pieces. Put that back over there. And we'll bring back this. And I also have cut a piece of, this is the um, Sun Prints designer series paper. Speaking of Coastal Grandma, that looks like something they would use <laughs> on the Today Show. And then I've got a piece of vellum. And I'm gonna just cut a very shallow V in the bottom of this and by doing that I'm cutting I'm just cutting up a little bit halfway there which actually that maybe I need to go up a little bit further cut a, a little line in the middle and then go from the corners to the top of your well I just didn't make that look very easy but if you get your line first in the middle then you can just cut from each corner okay so now we've got dimensionals for our bird which is gonna go right there. And we'll do dimensionals for our happy birthday. Hi, Debbie. Right there. And then we'll use some glue for our little grasses, our, cr our um, craft grasses. One right there. Ooh, I went a little crazy with the glue as always. And this one will come over here like that. Okay, now these guys are retiring and they are on sale right now. Um, $5.25, I believe, these pebble enamel shapes. I cannot believe these are not carrying over. These are so awesome, I love these. So they look like little rocks. So just get a couple of them and just, you know, lay them around maybe like leaning up. You don't want them all to be exactly the same like that. Okay, now I've got that paper and the vellum and I've done it both ways. You can do this on the back or the vellum on the back. It actually doesn't matter because they are both, I mean, it's gonna look the exact same. So don't, don't stress too much about it. I think I've done it two different ways. <laughs> The original was one way, and then my video yesterday was a different way. Vellum in the back, vellum in the front. And then this goes right here. 
And then um, you're gonna take these grasses and we're gonna adhere these kind of sticking out to the side. Okay, so tuck them back there, kind of coming out. Be cognizant of the edge of the card because you're gonna need them to fit in an envelope. So you're gonna need to kind of tuck them in as far as you can go. If your dimensionals aren't in the way, there we go. That one's gonna need to go in a little bit further, I think. Let's stick it back here. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Oh, and we're gonna add a bow, but we'll do that in a second. Let's come back to our watercolor paper. Um, one thing that I did after it dried a little bit is I took my um, water painter and I'm going to clean it just a little bit to get some of that ink off. And then I just kind of drop some water, little dots. Okay. I'm going to let it sit for a second and then I'm going to dab them. And see how that adds just some, like some texture to that? Maybe like stars in the sky or something. Now, for the sake of the video, I have one that's done. Yay! Um, we're gonna cut this. The piece is bigger than our card front. And usually when I cut a piece of paper for my card front, I do four by five and a fourth. I leave like a little border. But this time I wanna cover the entire card front. So, if I can find my trimmer, I'm going to cut it four and a fourth by five and a half, okay? And I want the, I want to save as much of the dark as I can. So that means I'm going to line up, I'm going to cut that edge off and then cut off more of the lighter bottom like that. All right, and then four and a fourth. Now, watercolor paper is pretty um, thick, so I'm gonna use some adhesive sheets on the back here like this to stick it down to make sure that it's gonna stay stuck on my card front. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one down a little bit because, you know, I never, I, and maybe it's the humidity here, but Okay, come on, come on, come on. Um, my my watercolor paper, if I put it on the card front, it'll start to curl up a little bit. But if I do this, then it doesn't do that. Oh, come on. Okay, now let's see if we can get it off. It doesn't come off as smoothly on watercolor paper, I think because it's textured, but it comes off enough. If that makes sense. See how it kind of, it doesn't leave all of it there, but it's plenty. And now it's all over my fingers. The only thing you have to be careful of when you do this is once you stick it down, it better be in the right place because it's not coming up. So I'm going to do the dark at the top. I'm going to line up I need to replace the trimmer blade. You can see that it did not cut very good. Line it up, press it down, and there's your card front. Okay, so it covers the full card front. And then we're just gonna add this on with dimensionals. Right there. Oh, and we gotta add that bow, of course. And see how those are sticking out? I probably needed a Put them in just a little bit further. Just a little bow this time. A mini glue dot. And voila, we are done. I think that's my favorite one of the three. It's more complicated than the other two, but I don't think it's too complicated. It's got great colors. Okay, so now I told you guys, I, just making sure, the, the comments keep disappearing. Another side I didn't think I needed, <laughs> sorry Joyce. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I, I uh, changed my mind about the seal set. 
I don't think they are that cute. Maybe a Facebook Friday. The seal set, Michelle. The seals. I can't think of the seals. Is that in the new catalog? Um, Next week, speaking of, we're going to do the elephants. Elephant parade stamp set. If I forget to tell you, I want to make sure I told you. Okay, so here's what we made. If you put your order in by Monday at midnight, these are the three make and takes that you'll get. And then next week, I'm going to share with you two other cards. Um, when you hit a million, two million, three million in sales, Stampin' Up! makes you a really fancy card. And a couple of weeks ago, Tammy White hit her, I don't know, like three million. And they made her a card using the stamp set. And I absolutely loved it. So I made two cards based on that. That card, if you go look at it on the Stampin' Up! Facebook page, it's like huge and it's all these layers, but I wanted to simplify it. So I kind of based this off the front of her card and then this off, I think it was like the inside of her card. So if you're looking for more ideas, um, go look. The artist used like Cajun craze, which I would never have thought. Stamp the bird in starry sky. Um, it's just really beautiful. So you need to go check that out. Um, did I do the insides? I don't think I did. Oh, well, that one I did. I love that Cajun craze. That paper is from the He's the Man suite, which again, I never would have thought to pull those together, but they look so good. So uh, make sure you go check on um, those. Gina, I'm not allowed to tell you what my million dollar stamp set is yet. It'll be out in January though. Everybody will get to see it. No Lisa, no 3Ds today. No 3Ds, sorry. I couldn't really think of a 3D to go with this stamp set. Oh, I just, I didn't think it was a 3D stamp set. I felt like it was more cards. Okay, I'll have pictures of these next week on my blog. Um, don't forget, here's the host code. Don't forget the last chance list. Um, what am I forgetting? I think that's it. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. I'll be back next week, same time, 2 o'clock for um, Elephant Parade. All right? All right, have a great weekend, you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.